So I recently was thinking in my game, I wanted to create a typewriter effect. And that got me thinking how I could do that. And in my head, I created a solution. Now, before I, or after I made the solution in my head, I thought I was like, okay, maybe I'll look it up. And I found this solution on another YouTube video. So here's the idea. It's kind of updated for Godot 4. Um, usually you would do, uh, I think in the video is interpolate uh, property, but now it's tween property and we just um, edited it a little bit to actually work. So here we're basically going to tween the property visible ratio from zero to one over the time of three. Now, one annoying thing with this is that you have to set the rate visible ratio to zero. You can do it through code or through the label itself. And what it looks like is like this. So it actually does kind of look like a typewriter, which is kind of cool. But one problem with this is if you, the problem is that the time is constant. So if the text is really long, it's not very adaptable. So let's change the text and let's copy paste like a bunch of things. So let's make the text like a lot longer. And so now it'll go a lot faster which I guess is nice if you want it that way. Now, if you want the effect, but it doesn't give the effect that the computer is actually talking to me. Like I wanted to give it the effect that an AI is actually typing into the keyboard and typing to me, right? So I've created, I've stolen, <laughs> I've borrowed this typewriter effect sound effect, and we're gonna kind of go through that. So let's delete all this. We don't need this. In fact, let's delete all of that because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna delete all this Let's uh, delete all the ready function stuff. And in the actual uh, node of my, my AI, essentially, here I have like this guy. And the way I was gonna do it is if I enter it, then I'll show the text. Now I exported the text. So here I have the export text. So now I can enter the text that I want to show to the player. So I'll say, welcome player to, uh, let me show you to this world, to this world so I can make it a little longer. And then it's going to take that text. We have the label and audio auto loaded. And so now what we're going to do is we're essentially going to, so here's actually a trick that you probably didn't know. Hopefully you knew, uh, or maybe you didn't know, maybe you did. Basically a string is actually a, an array of characters. So what do I mean by this? Well, I can actually say print text zero because it's an array. So I can print the first character or first thing in the array so when i do this it'll print w hopefully yeah okay it did so i can do one and that'll print e right so what i can do with this is now i can for loop through it and actually print everything so the way I, i'll do this is i'll say for loop i in text dot length and then we will add to the text. So what we'll do is we'll say label.text plus equals text.i. And before we do that, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to make the string text.empty. So I'm going to make the label.text empty before I start adding to it. So now it'll do it all at once. Okay. Or nothing will happen. Let's see. Why did nothing happen? Here we have nothing. Let's try one more time. Okay. Let's continue and see what's going on. Let me delete this and see if that works. Ooh, nothing. Okay, so I just realized the problem was that the uh, visible ratio was still zero. So let's try one more time. Now it'll pop up properly, there we go. So let's give this, let's put that back and the same thing should happen. And it comes up all at once because the for loop is pretty quick. Um, however, what we can do is we can add a wait. So we can say, to give it that kind of typewriter effect, we'll wait 0 0.5 seconds every letter. So this will give us the effect that it's typing as if it's actually typing no matter how long the text is, which is really cool. So now it'll look like this. Welcome player to this world. So no matter how long the string is, it'll always take, it won't take the same amount of time. It'll only it'll give it'll say, take the same amount of time per word. So the longer the text, the longer it takes to type out. So this is actually nice because it actually gives that type effect. So let's give it a bit more of that effect by basically checking if there's a space in between. So obviously, if there's a space, there should be kind of like a, a little pause. So I'm going to wait another 0.1 second if that if there is that um, space, or I can do 0.5 seconds, whatever you want. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the audio and then I'm going to stop it after. Now, I'll show you what this sounds like because it's a bit odd. Let me turn on the capture audio. Hold on, here we go. 
Okay, you should be able to hear it. Now, if you heard that, it's it's cool, but it stops right after the text is up. So what we can do is we can use await. So we can say await audio finished, and we'll wait for the audio to finish before we stop it. So let's play one more time. So now it'll play and actually type all the way until it stops. So it's up to you on how you want it. You can also adjust the audio, whatever, I don't know. You have to find audio for that. I'll probably adjust it myself later, but it's a cool typewriter effect. And this actually is kind of more adjusted to what I wanted to do. And I thought it was a cool thing to share with you guys. So hopefully this can be helpful. Or if you want, you can always do the old um, tween thing. Let's go back to, I didn't copy paste it, so I'll have to control Z. There we go. So you can you can either do this or you can do this, right? So I can I could make this uh, type type uh, type writer. Make that a function typewriter, and then I can just call this in the ready function instead. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, or this video, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that sub button down below as I'm always creating new videos and trolls for you guys. And of course, if you have any recommendations, leave a comment down below. Or if you guys want, you can make sure that your voice is heard. Definitely check out my socials down below. I have a Discord that's always growing and I would love to be able to chat with you guys and see what's going on in your own lives. I have a few other links down below that you should check out. My Steam page, my Patreon, if you want to check that out. And of course, my Twitch. Um, I, I kind of stream every now and then. But it's hard. I hope to see you guys around. Till next time. Bye-bye.